Right. It's 15 minutes after 8 o'clock here. It's Hump Day Wednesday, and it is Whirly Bird Wednesday. And uh, Corey is in Sky Fox this morning getting ready to land. You, we're coming, coming in, in close here. Uh, we may lose our signal for a moment yes. uh, broadcasting from the chopper. Nope, there the you mountain. go. Yeah. But we'll see you on the ground here in just a second. Home of the benchmark, Bobcats. An eighth performing charter school. Oh, man. These kids are, oh, they're all against the wall. All right, we, we're losing your signal a little bit, but we're watching you, Corey, very closely from both. The, we got two shots here. We got your uh, camera up in Sky Fox and on the ground. Here it is, Sky Fox, Don Hooper, and Corey McCloskey touching down right now at Benchmark Elementary School. That's around 32nd Street uh, and Greenway. I guess it's not elementary school. It's uh, Benchmark School. And ladies and gentlemen, okay. yeah. here he comes. Here's Corey. Yeah, he's putting his uh, his various uh, and sundry equipment on, grabbing Thank the microphone, and there he is. All right. Well, we're out here at Benchmark, and we got to go say hi to these kids. Wisely, we kept them in sort of a pen here in the playground. That allows the dust to really swirl. Oh man, we've got a whole road of high five this morning. We're gonna start down here with the girl in the pink dress. Love your dress, young lady. Here we go, right down the row. That's what we're talking about. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Big action at Benchmark. As I said, this is the home of the Bobcats. Look at these guys go. Hundreds of them. We go from three years, there we go, the whole staff. Three years, all the way up to sixth graders. Look at this bunch. Come on over here. They appear to be running away, which is not <laughs> unusual. I think they were a little spooked by all the loud noises. Hey, you guys, thanks for getting up so early. Are you normally awake at this hour of the day? Yes. What grade are you in, my friend? Second. And who's your teacher? Ms. Georges and Ms. Arnold. Does she give a lot of homework? Yeah. Yeah. That's a good thing, right? You're pretty good at your homework? Yes. Anybody know what's for lunch today? Yes. What is it? Macaroni. That's it? Just macaroni? Wow, it's like a gulag here. I'm sure there's more than macaroni. What's the fruit today? You got your sliced peaches? Macaroni and cookies and chocolate milk and white. <laughs> oh, chocolate milk and white milk. See, it's better. It's more like a spa than a gulag. I, I misspoke when I mentioned that at first. Well, you guys are going to be on the air all morning long. Thanks for getting up with us. It's the home of the Bobcats. Benchmark. Charger School, and we'll be back here under the sunshine in just a couple of minutes. We'll see you then, you okay. guys. Corey, I, I love how everyone is raising their hand to speak. Yes, That's great. they're so polite. They're very polite. Very good. <laughs> Rick. Okay, uh, we all know that. Full dose of Whirly Bird Wednesday this week. Because we had Whirly Two Bird times. Wednesday on a Tuesday. We the called Whirly it Bird uh, Whirly Bird Tuesday, mm -hmm. and now we're Whirly Bird Wednesday up at our neck of the woods up there in the North Valley. Corey. Hey, Rick. Yes. You Wait. know who we've spied here? Who? This would be Megan Klander, and she's a first grader. Christine Klander is her mom, and yeah. Christine works with us here at Fox 10. Yes, Megan, does. now how old are you in first grade? Six. Six years old. <laughs> uh, did you have a birthday recently? No. No, it's been a while. So on your next birthday, what kind are you going to have? Any idea? Um, Maybe uh, Disney princesses, Power Rangers, uh, Bob the Builder? <laughs> no, that would be silly. That's for boys, right? Now, you have a whole lot of friends here, and you're all first graders. Have you had a fun year in first grade? Uh-huh. Yeah, you must like the school a lot, eh? Now, who, who are the rest of your friends here? Can you introduce some of them? Caitlin, yeah. Emily, yeah. Christina, uh -huh. and Sean, yeah. and Miles, yeah. and Weston, and... Carson yeah. and Sophia and Tiana. Wow, you got a whole, oh, of course, you got a whole bunch here. And it looks like you lost a tooth recently. How'd that happen? In fact, show that, show that right to the camera there. Give us your big smile. Yeah, yeah, it looks like it's this one right here. What happened? Um, in my bed, I was watching TV and I just pulled on it for a while. You pulled it out yourself? Mm -hmm. Wow, yes. Let's turn around so we can see yours, too. Oh, you lost one also. This is a big feature, as you've uh, probably noticed on Whirly Bird Wednesday. We like to see whose teeth are missing. You lost how many? 
six. All at once? How do you eat? Is your mom chewing up your food like a robin and feeding you like a baby bird? No. Oh, I see. They didn't all come out at once. That's good. All right. Just so you know, everybody, we're looking for about, uh, you lost eight. I think you're the winner so far. Would you like a dog biscuit? We're giving those out as prizes now. Don't eat it, though. Unless you want to. We can't stop you. <laughs> Think about it later. Maybe ask your mom first. That would be a good idea. But today we're looking for about 70 degrees and sunny skies. And by the time we get to the weekend, maybe we'll get some rain and maybe it'll snow up in the mountains. How would that be? Sure, everybody likes snow. Okay, we'll see you guys back here at Benchmark, home of the Bobcats, in just a couple of minutes. All right, good work, Kari. Kari. <laughs> oh, Look boy. at that smile. Hey. To get a copy, you just make a copy of it. Got to say goodbye to Thanks Corey. Thanks for sharing some time with us. Corey, hey, we've got a couple of hijackers, apparently. Uh, Fox 10 being commandeered by students and teachers alike. Uh, we'll see you guys for the next Whirly Bird Wednesday. Bye from Benchmark, everybody. Bye.